Welcome to Moving Math and Science. In this video, let's go over factoring trinomials when A is not 1. If you look at this trinomial, you'll notice that uh, this first term is definitely not a 1, it's a 5. There's several steps involved, so um, an easy way to remember is we're going to find, we're going to rewrite, we're going to find, and then we're going to rewrite again. So, let's get started. Okay, so here we go. First, we're going to find. What we're going to do is we're going to multiply the first term times the third term, which is 5 times negative 6 is negative 30. And it needs to, we then are going to find the factors that when they add together equals the middle term or the second term. So that's 13. So let's get started with some factors. We can multiply. We need, uh, this is a negative, so we can go 1 times a negative 30, that does indeed equal negative 30. When we add them together, that's a negative 29. So that does not work. And then we can go negative 1 times 30. That indeed equals negative 30, but that's a positive 29. Okay, and then we can go, um, let's do this. Let's go negative 2 times 15. When you multiply that together, it is uh, negative 30. And when you add them, it indeed is 13. Okay, so now we have our two terms that multiply together to equal this middle term. Now we're going to rewrite. And what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this 13x, but we're going to split it. And we're going to rewrite it to where it looks like this. 5x squared minus 2x plus 15x minus 6. So we're going to rewrite the 13 and just split it into these two terms that we found from step 1. So we have rewritten it. Now we have two binomials. So what we're going to do is we're going to find, again, we are finding the greatest common factor of them. So the greatest common factor of 5x squared 2x is x. So we're going to write that on the outside. So we have x and so we're going to factor it out. So we have x times 5x minus 2. And then we're going to find the same thing. We're going to find the greatest common factor of this binomial. And that looks like that is a uh, 3. Okay. And so when we factor that out, that becomes uh, 3 goes into 15 5 times. And then it goes into negative 6 two times. Okay, so now we have um, found the greatest common factor and factored it out. Now all we do is re we rewrite. Notice that we have a common binomial. And then we have two uh, terms that were the greatest common factor. So we're going to combine these. So we have x plus 3 times this common binomial, 5x minus 2. So we have rewritten it okay okay and uh, just to be safe let's go ahead and check our work we were we were foiled this so we have first x times 5x is 5x squared uh, enter um, we have 3 and uh, 5x so that's a positive 15x uh, outer x times negative 2 negative 2x and last 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Combine like terms, uh, and that equals 5x squared, a positive 15, and negative 2 is positive 13x minus, excuse me, not 3, minus 6. So it looks like it works out. So there we go. So just as a recap, remember, we find, we rewrite, we find, we rewrite. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.